I'm not, but I'm just giving you what God gives me. And once I give that, I sit down. Amen. 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 Because I can't make you do nothing. Amen. It's up to you to accept him as your personal savior. It's up to you to come back if you backslid. It's up to you, amen, to be a part of us if you want to. It's up to you. And that's what God wants. Amen. From the book of Ephesians chapter 5, it goes to you to have your Bibles. Your, um, it's already over there. Oh, Ephesians chapter 5 and uh, beginning at verse 15. Amen. And I'm starting there. I know it's right in the me, right in the middle of something, but uh, um, it's important where we're going. Amen. Got to say amen. 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 Galatians 5 and 15 says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Mm -hmm. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Verse 20. Giving thanks. How often? Always, Always for Always. something. Always. For, oh, look at my corner over here. Thank you. For all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord. Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen? So, I just want to talk briefly from this subject, giving thanks. That's very simple. Amen? And God said for us to be thankful in how many things? All, All things. things. Amen? But but if we honest with ourselves, sometimes, there's sometimes, I don't want to be thankful. Something happened in my life I don't understand and and how could I be thankful for that? Amen. And it's pulling me down. It's hurting me. And, and I'm going through the storms of life. Amen. Right. But Ephesians 5 tells us God wants us to stand out. We got to be different than everybody else. Amen. 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 And he wants us to be known for being thankful. Amen. Amen. And so why should we be thankful? Because God said so. Amen. We saw that in Ephesians 5 and 20, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18 tells us to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. This is God's will. This is, yo, are you going to take the children? Take them, take them home. Amen. Do we have any? Amen. Go on, children. I don't know what that's called. Look at them running. <laughs> like ants. Amen. They ready to get up out of here. <laughs> Amen. First Thessalonians 5 and 18 tells us this is God's will for us. Amen. And it's so, being thankful is so important. Uh, Brother James, get me first uh, Chronicles 16 and 4. So, so important, thank, being thankful is so important that King David appointed priests whose primary job was to give thanks. Amen? Amen? Amen. And let's read it there. Uh, what is that? And he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord and to recall and to thank and praise the Lord God of Israel. It was so important that God, y'all know how they used to have mourners? When they had a funeral, they would hire people to cry. Right. But David hired people to praise and to thank God, amen, for what he has done. Right. And so it's important that we be a thankful people, amen? And if you're not giving thanks, we're not really loving God as we should, amen? We're not worshiping him as we should, and we're not praising him as we should. Uh -huh. Giving thanks is what God expects of us. And Andre Crop sang a song a long time ago, said we're not the sun, but we can shine for the Lord. Amen. We're not a tree, we can lift our hands to the Lord. Amen. We're not a bird, but we can sing for the Lord. 
But God created us and able to give him the what? The highest praise. But why does God want us to be a thankful people? Because when we are thankful, we are telling others how we feel about God. First Chronicles 16 and 8 tells us, amen, Let, let's get there. Giving thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. But we can tell folks what the police did. We can tell folks what the judge did. Right. We can tell folks what the food stamp folk did. Yeah. But we can't tell folks what the Lord has done. Lord yeah. oh, have mercy. Yeah. We're not making known his deeds among the people. Right. And in order to make known the deeds among the people, we got to let them know who we know we're giving the credit to. Amen. And that is the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God says, I believe in the Lord. Amen. It's a witness to the world that, that we look to God for our help. Old folks said, all of my help. Say all of my help. Oh, and how much? All of my help come from the Lord. Amen. And so, 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 so what am I to be thankful for? Ephesians 5 and 20 tells us everything. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18 says, in all circumstances. Philippians 4 and 16 said everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Make your request known unto God. So being thankful is not always easy. There are a lot of things that I'm just not thankful for. Amen. So how can I be thankful for everything? Glad you asked. One way we can do some comparative thinking. So what do you mean by that, Pastor? Well, if I don't have no shoes, I can thank God for my feet. For my feet. Come on, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, you want to help me here? Amen. Amen. That's comparing. Amen. You always can find something worse than what you're going through. If you look. Amen. The man didn't have no shoes, but he had feet to put shoes on. Another man didn't have any feet. So you can be comparative thinking. Just think about it now, what I'm saying to you. Amen. So you can't compare and thank God for where you are. The number two say is that you can say this too shall pass. Amen. The trouble you're going through, the old folks say, I'm so glad that trouble don't last, don't last always. Yeah. This too shall pass. Because when the storms of life are going, you got to realize the sun is shining so bad. Come on, somebody. So, comparative thinking. Amen. And this too shall pass thinking. Amen. And the third is the most powerful way is to give thanks for everything is that you realize you will, amen, you sometimes you're going to be crippled, amen, by despair and anxiety. Amen. You're going to have emotions, but you will not be crippled when you know that God is with you. Amen. 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 Philippians 4, 4 through 7. Get that for me right quick, Brother Jane. As I get ready to close here, let me just share this with you. Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 17, right? Hey, let me four, what did I say? Philippians 4 through 7. Amen. Let your moderate, where am I at? Four, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known how to all men. That the Lord is where? At hand. And so therefore be careful for nothing but in how many things? Everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made how? Unto God. And then the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. But the key point is that we realize that the Lord is near. And so, 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 if I am troubled by the difficulties in my life, there's a way to get peace from God. A way to rejoice in the midst of frustration. And the way that we do it is by four words. The Lord is near. Uh -huh. And Psalm, he said he would never leave me nor forsake me. Yeah. And we talk about a scripture, most people read it about funerals, but this is not about funerals, it's about life. Amen. Psalms 23. Amen. Psalm 23. We know it. Psalm 23, which says what? The Lord, what? Is my shepherd. What? I shall not want. What? He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside.
beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, hey. though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, what? I will fear no evil for what? Thou art with, with me. Thou art with me. The Lord is near. Thy rod and thy stand. They what? Comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me. What? In the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with all what? And my cup runneth over. And now surely what? Goodness and mercy shall follow me how? All the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Come on, somebody, tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. 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 Because the Lord is near. He leads me. Uh -huh. He comforts me. Yeah. He anoints me. Yeah. He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Uh -huh. Amen. Deuteronomy 31 and 8, God promised the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you and he will not forsake you. So don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. It doesn't matter what you're going through. You can still give God thanks. Because God is always there. Uh -huh. Amen. I remember, and I think Brother Kevin messed with my message this morning. Because Joseph, when he God gave him a vision, he realized that the Lord was there with him. And when his brothers talked about killing him, he realized the Lord was with him. Amen. And when he got to where he was, he realized that the Lord was with him. Yeah. When he was thrown in jail, he realized the Lord was near him. Yeah. Amen. When he was tired in jail, he remembered that the Lord was with him. Yeah. When he came out from being in jail, yeah. he realized the Lord was with him. Yeah. And when he was put second in charge, he realized that the Lord was with him. Uh -huh. And when his brothers realized who he was, he said, you, you meant it for bad. Yeah. But God meant it for good. I'm thankful that God sent me before you yeah. to save your life. Yeah. And tell God, thank you. Amen. 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 And, and, and I remember in the book of Psalms 137 in verses 1 through 4. I'll get that for me right quick and let me finish here. Amen. Because again, we got to understand the Lord is with us. The Lord is near. So I got something to be thankful for. Yeah. I got something to be shouting about. Amen. What did I say? One through four? Is that what I said? Yeah. Amen. See, this is what they were going through. Read, come on down, because I can't see it all the way up there. What is it? Can you come down a little bit further? Mm -hmm. right, that's all before you can come down. What is that? But in the river, but in the, in the, by the rivers of Babylon, that we sat down, yeah, we wept. When we remember Zion, we hang our hearts upon the wheels in the midst thereof. For there they carried us away captive over us a song and they that wasted us required of us mirth. Sing, say, and sing unto us one of the songs of Zion. But they said how? And that's how we get sometimes. Sometimes we get to where we just don't know how we can do it. So they said how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? And so you got to realize sometimes you're in a strange place. Sometimes it's not where you want to be. But you got to recognize that the Lord is near. And they ask how shall we sing I'm going through some trials and tribulations in my life. How can I say yeah. So they just hang. They just hang their hearts on the willows. And I, because I don't feel like singing sometimes. Yeah. We all get there. Yeah. We don't feel like singing. Right. We don't feel like being happy. Yeah. But, 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 but when you realize that the Lord is near, you can sing Zion songs. Amen. 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 And so, 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 Psalm 16 and 10. Amen. This is what Jesus said. Psalm 16 and 10. Let me tell this with you as we close. Psalm 16 and 10. For thou, Jesus knew that God was with him. Amen. Even though he asked the question one time and sometimes we may ask the same question. My God. My God. Why has thou forsaken me? But Jesus, God, had to send an angel to dispatch from heaven to come and strengthen him. Amen. And when he realized, hey, I got to go through this. It's not my will, Lord, that I go through this, but it's your will. And, and so, 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 he took upon himself, amen, to come down here from his throne in glory and to go through what I go through, to feel what I feel. Amen. But he realized, this is one thing he said, for thou will not leave my soul in hell. This too shall pass. Amen. Neither would thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. And that's why on the third day morning he got up out of that grave with all power, both in heaven and earth, and he 
Yeah. Yeah. Paid the price for all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because God said he would never leave him and he would not forsake him. You got to have enough trust in God to know this too shall pass. You got to know that God is always there with you. You got to understand that it could be worse. God couldn't have died for you. He, could, he couldn't have died for you. You could have been on your way to hell because there was no way for you to make it to heaven without Jesus Christ. But God chose to die for you. He chose to die for me. Thank you. Yeah, he chose. So, hey, hey, compare. Yeah, I may be going through stuff down here, but I'm so glad that trouble don't last all day. I'm so glad that I got a Savior who knows what I'm going through because he went through it all. So, and yes, 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 I know I don't deserve to be forgiven, but he forgave me anyhow. Lord, it didn't matter what I did, Sister Kathy forgave me anyhow. And yeah, now folks looking at you, looking at you different. Talk about what's your sign? You ain't gonna put that on me. Try to trick you. You didn't think I heard it, but I heard it. Try to trick me. Try to make tell me who. What's your sign? What's your sign? You that kind of person, cause that's your sign. And you got all kinds of folks in every sign doing like the same thing they did. A Scorpio doing the same thing as a Capricorn. The same Capricorn doing the same thing as a Levi. It ain't about your sign. It's about who you are in Christ. Uh, amen. Scorpios don't give thanks. All of them. Levi's, Leo's, and all them don't give thanks. Amen. Uh, Sagittarius and all them don't give thanks. Oh, I hear Joe's apple. Leo's don't give thanks. All the time, all of them don't give thanks. But somebody, some Scorpio give thanks. That's me. <laughs> yes, sir. I got something to be thankful for. Amen. Because I know where the Lord brought me from. I know what the Lord did for me. Yeah, because when we were young, we all did some stuff that we shouldn't have done. We all was misused by some folk that they shouldn't have. But God so fit to bring us out of that situation. And now, 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 all I can do now, I don't want to look back, but I tell you to look back. Look where he brought me from. He brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. Woo! Oh, what a change that happened in my life because of what he did for me. And I got something to be thankful for. I got something to shout for. I got something to shout for because, because Jesus died for everybody, but everybody can't come and tell him thank you. Amen. Thank I told y'all about the lepers this morning. He healed 10. Mm -hmm. And on that way, as they were being healed, they one looked look down, all of them looked down and saw that they were healed. Yeah. Amen. But one yeah. turned around yeah. and said, Lord, I thank you. Are you that one? Or are you the nine that's leaving? Yeah. And never looking back and giving credit to where credit is due. Yeah. It's just like going to a doctor. Some folks don't ever tell the doctor thank you. I don't. I don't tell my doctor to think I paid. Him. Yeah. Amen. But Jesus paid the price for me. So why can't I tell him thank you? Oh, right. Amen. Because I know if the doctor give me all kinds of medicine and God don't want me healed, I'm not going to be healed. Because healing is in the Lord's hand. Amen. And see, 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 one thing God told me to very hard doing good like medicine so if we can be happy if we can thank God amen for what he done for us we can save ourselves from a lot of illnesses because a merry heart doing good like medicine but a broken spirit drives the bone amen we make ourselves sick because we can't be thankful and amen we're giving thanks to the wrong folks and the wrong things amen but you got to give credit to where credit belongs. It belongs to the Lord. Amen. So let's practice giving thanks for what he has done for us. Amen. Amen. Because again, he didn't give that ability to nobody but you. He didn't give it to the deer. Amen. He didn't give it to the dogs. He didn't give it to the cows. He didn't give it to the horses. He didn't give it to the birds. He gave it to you. To tell people what God has done. Amen. But we got closed mouths and won't say thank you. 
Because we want to give credit to everybody but the Lord. Amen. And God is the one that did it for us. Amen. But we all on the same page. Amen. Does that make any sense at all? Yes. Amen. That giving thanks belong to us. That's God's will for us to tell him thank you. Amen. Amen. It's God's will for us. Amen. And if we don't do it, the Bible says these hold their peace. Amen. The rocks. We cry out. And I don't want no rock crying out for me. Amen. I want to be the one to give God the glory. Amen. Because he has done it for me. The rocks is there. All just one place unless somebody moves. Amen. But we go around all the time, everywhere. And it's an opportunity to show forth his works among his people. Amen. Amen. And we give him credit to everybody. They say, oh, yeah, you lucky this and you that and all that. But you've got to let the folk know that you know where your help is coming from. Yeah. Your help is coming from the Lord who woke you up this morning, who started you on your way, who allowed you to eat, who allowed you to put clothes on your back and shoes on your feet, friends all around you. God let you make it to church in your car and didn't break down. The deer stayed in the woods where you didn't hit them. The dog stayed on the porch where he didn't bite you. It's just God did it all. And you got to learn how to give him credit for what he has done for us in our life. Amen. 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 Oh. And that's why I don't, let me say this, and y'all don't look at me funny. That's why I don't care. You know, I care if the cowboys win or not. Amen. But that had nothing to do with God. If they win, thank God. thank God. If they lose, thank God. Thank God. If they don't play, thank God. thank God. Amen. If they tie, thank God. Because it's not about the Cowboys, it's about God. Amen. 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 I told my daughter last night, she wanted, she got on me for not talking about the Buffalo Bill. Amen. And uh, she said she was going to be here. I told her I wasn't going to talk about the Bill, I'm going to talk about the Cowboys. Amen. Because I thank God for the Cowboys. Amen. But if the Cowboys plane crash and all of them die, it ain't going to kill me. God is still God. Amen. It ain't going to make me cry. God is still God. Amen. I'm going to be thankful that they played as long as they did and won as I'm in the Super Bowl they did. But I'm just thankful. I got something to thank God for. Because of what God has done for me. And if you develop that attitude, amen, stuff won't bother you. Stuff won't get next to you. Oh, yeah, you're going to have some emotions. But you, that your emotions shouldn't dictate to you whether you're thankful or not. Amen. Because if you're thankful, everything looks like, look like, look like it's going to go away so fast that it looks like it never happened. Amen. But Jesus died for us that we can have the desire to be thankful. Amen? Amen. Let us stand. Now, I didn't preach.